Hello guys, welcome to day 4 of 50 days DSA series. In this video, we'll solve one problem and array. So question is, we need to find the second largest element from the given array. So, largest element find it is very simple. But second largest element is not that easy compared to first largest element. So, you input 12, 35, 1, 10, 34, 1 and it stay. We need to print 34 output because 34 is the second largest element. 35 is the first largest element. And we have one more condition. If the second largest element does not exist, then return minus 1. That means here you have the input array is 10, 10, 10. Here there is no second largest element. Only we have first largest element that is 10. So we need to return minus 1. That is the second largest element should not be equal to the largest element. This is the question statement. So, this question is from Geeks for Geeks. I request everyone after watching this video to solve problem by logging into your Geeks for Geeks account. So, for solving this problem, we have two approaches. First approach is Ochesi. Arini sort chayali. Arini sort chayste me came as So, first approach is sort the given array. So, after sorting, you will get 1, 1, 10, 12, 34, 35. In this, after sorting, we will get no. The second largest element is 34. Right? So, sort chase aka, no direct ka, mana ka already tell Largest element ekkad untundi, n minus 1 index dagger untundi, where n is the size of the array. Second largest element ekkad untundi, n minus 2 index dagger untundi. So, direct ganu array of n minus 2 print chase te, 34 output asundi. E example ki okay, but e example lo nu wo array of n minus two print chase the like ten or no output, but mana output is minus one. But how to solve this? Because the second largest element should not be equal to the largest element. That is a given condition. So, learn the test cases ko sam. We need to traverse the array from second last element that is array of n minus 2 nunchi traverse cheyal array ni endukante array of n minus 1 is first largest element ani manaku already telusu second largest element 34 nunchi reverse traverse reverse lo traverse cheyadam array ni that is array of n minus 2 nunchi reverse ga array ni traverse cheyal appudu oka vela two conditions pettali endante if oka vela ee array of n minus 2 nunchi manam traverse chestunnam the array of n minus 2 undi kada and that is not equal to largest element ekkada untundi array of n minus 1 if array of n minus 2 not equal to array of n minus 1 then only you need to print 34 anything but here this condition will be failed for this input in this case decrease the index if the condition is not satisfied we are using for loop no so decrease the index the array index will be decreased so now the index will be pointing to this element here also the condition will be failed that is the uh, array of that is array of i is not equal to array of n minus 1 that is last element so now the array is traversed completely up to greater than equal to i greater than equal to 0 so in out of the if statement return minus 1 if that condition is satisfied then return the element array of i so let's start the code for this here i am solving the problem in java so i think everyone know we need to import java.util.arrays and declare a class second large element i think everyone knows that uh, class name should be same as file name and we have taken main function and let's declare an array and initialize with some values and now take a function let's say any function which returns integer we need to return integer only i think take so the second function will take the parameters only array it will take so take the parameter array and now first we we also need this size of the array so find the size of the array so array dot length 
and now first sort the given array for sorting we use array dot arrays dot sort array name is array so by using this statement the array elements will be sorted in ascending order so get the array using for loop so int i equal to as i said before start iterating the array from second last element that is n minus 2 from n minus 2 index so i equal to n minus 2 until i greater than equal to 0 until index greater than equal to 0 i decremented by 1 so first check the condition if array of i is not equal to if array of i is not equal to array of last element that is largest element first largest element where it will be there at index n minus 1 so keep n minus 1 so if the array of i we are starting from n minus 2 element so if array of i that is 34 not equal to not equal to first largest element array of n minus 1 then we are going to return we need to return the element array of i but we have one more condition also if second largest element does not exist we need to return minus 1 so out of loop return minus 1 directly so if i trace this code you will observe first for this input uh, the field we are traversing from n minus 2 so 34 not equal to 35 it is true then return 34 the loop will end here only and returns 34 and for this input first uh, it will take array of n minus 2 that is 10 10 not equal to 10 it's it's false this condition is false this condition is false so uh, array index is decremented so now the index will be pointing to this 10 so 10 not equal to 10 again it's false so now i is not greater than equal to 0 now i minus minus is decremented to minus 1 now it is not greater than equal to 0 so the loop is completed so out of loop we are returning minus 1 that means there is no second largest element in the array and we need to print this number also so in the main function write system dot out dot print ln uh, you need to call the function also the function name is second and let's run the code here you got 34 as we are expecting same output let me change the array values to second input that is 10 10 10 save the file and run again it should return minus one it is correct okay. now the second approach is it is the best approach so in this approach in this approach we will not sort the array so we'll traverse from first element to last element we initialize first largest element with minus one and second largest element with minus one and we'll traverse the using for loop from first element so if array of i that is 2l is greater than first largest element it is storing with minus one as it is true so 2l greater than minus one then we need to initialize second largest element with first largest element that is minus one and now first largest element with array of i so first largest element will store 2l and again i increment the loop i now the index is at 35 so now if array of i that is 35 greater than first element first element is stored with 12 so 35 greater than 12 it is true then second largest element equal to first largest element For previously first largest element is was storing with 12 so now the second largest element will store 12 now first largest element equal to array of i now array of i is 35 so again the new first largest element is 35 so the approach of this is we are using both the first largest element and second largest element while traversing the array only we are checking uh, if that element is greater than first largest element then we are storing that element with in first largest element and the previous first largest element is stored in second largest element 
and we use one more condition else if. So now let's write the code. Start with a for loop starting from int i equal to 0, i less than n and i plus plus. First we need to initialize first largest element with minus 1 and second large with minus 1. So we are traversing the array. So write a condition if array of i is greater than first large then store second large with first previously allocated first large and first large with array of i and we need to write one more condition else if array of i is greater than second large as well as array of i is less than first large that means second large element is array of i second large element is array of i so now out of now return second largest element out of for loop so return second large if there are no elements in the array that is length is if length is 0 of the array then it automatically returns minus 1 as we stored minus 1 previously in second large let's trace the code for this input 10 10 10 so first is array of i that is 10 if 10 is greater than first large yes 10 is greater than minus 1 first large is storing with minus 1 so 10 is greater than minus 1 so enter into the condition now store second large with minus 1 this first large is previously storing with minus 1 and now first large is array of i that is 10 so now in this iteration 1 second large is storing with minus 1 first large is storing with 10 and now increment the i plus plus so now i will become 1 so array of 1 that is 10 that is 10 10 is greater than first large first large was storing 10 so 10 is greater than 10 it is not correct so this this condition becomes false now enter into else if array of i that is 10 10 is greater than second large second large was storing with minus 1 yes 10 is greater than minus 1 and is 10 less than first large no the condition is false so again we increment with 1 so now i plus plus is 10 so now again 10 is greater than first large 10 is greater than 10 false again we'll go into else if loop so 10 is greater than 10 not 10 is greater than minus 1 true but 10 is less than 10 false in and in logical and both the conditions should be true then only it will enter into this condition so the loop completes out of loop it will return second large second large was storing minus one so it will return minus one so let's run the code first save the code now run the code let's see the output it should give minus one yeah it is giving minus one it is correct let me change the array values 34 any values 23 12 1 it should return 23 yeah, it is 23. It is working correct. That's it, guys. Stay tuned for day 5. We'll solve one more problem and array from lead code. I request everyone who are watching this video to solve this problem in your Geeks for Geeks account.